who do you guys think is going to take this? Earlier on, we saw Jbot take first killer to game five. And I mean, that fact alone might be enough to make many think that he is the favorite to win this one. And I would agree. For now, I would agree um, that Jbot has to be the favorite. However, Alpha Kep also took Chronic to Game 5, and you might be looking at the results and thinking, well, what what a big deal, right? Taking the guy to Game 5 who got swept by First Killer. Jbot took First Killer to, to Game 5 himself, so surely, if you just look at only those results and those results alone, um, if you're just looking at it mathematically, Jbot has to be the significant favorite, but it doesn't really work out like that. First Killer. He was kind of always going to beat Chronic, especially if Chronic enters the game with his Trash enabled. He's just going to get tilted. It's going to happen. Um, that's never been a good matchup for Chronic in the first place. So the fact that it turned out to be one-sided, um, historically not that surprising. So we have to give more weight to Alpha Get taking Chronic to Game 5 than you might think. I think that's a pretty good result. Um, it wasn't as high flying. It wasn't as mechanical of a series as First Killer J-Bot was. Alpha Cap is still a solid player though. Oh, check out how clean JBot's air dribble is though. Look how quickly he accelerated this ball across the goal line. My goodness. He just deleted it. He just took it on top of his car and deleted it. Alpha Cap had absolutely no time to react. Yeah, JBot is such an exciting player. I mean, it's plays like this that really make me a fan of this guy. Confident mechanical outplays. Meanwhile, Alpha Kev, he just goes a complete opposite direction. He is maybe the best player in NA at playing darty. He just, he loves to make the series as messy as possible. Try to triumph anyway. Um, and I think he's got a really good chance in this one. This, I could easily see this going to game five. I think it, I think it could, it could happen. Um, J-Bot winning game five. Yeah, I, I would give him the edge there. Oh my goodness, J-Bot with the plays. Oh, he's missed the airwall shot, but Alpha Kep's just floundering right now with no boost to recover. That little backflip pop is so cheeky though. There's so much flair to J-Bot's gameplay. You have to love it. And there's a reason why Alpha Kep is so consistently high rated in the ones leaderboard for NA. He's very, very solid, and J-Bot's not gonna beat him if he flips past the ball without making contact. 3-1 Alpha Cap in game one. Hey Dario, thanks for the brand new prime. I really appreciate that, dude. Yeah, who who do you guys think Chronic would like to play in the lower final? I mean, we could just ask him, man. Is he Chronic's in chat? Chronic, are you rooting for any of either of these players? Do you want that Alpha Cap rematch? I mean, the first thing that Chronic told me after the Alpha Cap rematch is he had to be right back because he'd been completely worn out by the bumps. What a save by J-Bot. He got a bit unlucky that that was on target in the first place, but done well to keep it out. So far, Alpha Cap playing very, very consistently. This is the kind of smart play, positional play that I expected to see from him at the start of the series against Chronic. It took a while to warm up to that kind of play style. So Chronic wants to play against J-Box, it would be more fun. Yeah, he probably doesn't want to get bumped anymore. Alpha Cap is very, very sneaky with his bump pathing. Difficult to read. j -Bot doesn't even need to dunk in this air dribble. Not really an air dribble, so much as just a, a flick after faking an air dribble. Alpha Cap didn't really react very well to that one. I think he was afraid of an air dribble bump. That's why he was backing off as far as he was. Those kind of slow... Um, setups with a high pop, they're very, very often followed by an irritable bump or a pop bump of some kind. Uh, it looked like that's what Alpha Cap was worried about, backing off into his goal. Turns out it was just a flick from j -Bot. with a dunk to follow it, actually. Now Alpha Cap just paths straight past the ball. This is careless. A couple of lackluster defensive plays from Alpha Cap. That's not what we're expecting to see from him. We need an international 1v1 LAN event. I totally agree. I think an international 1v1 event in Rocket League on LAN would be mind-blowing. It would be one of the most exciting Rocket League events of all time. Even though Rocket League 3v3 is popping right now. Um, 1v1 will always have its place, I think. A nice awkward touch there from J-Bot. Alphacap did just enough. You know, I, I really do think that Alphacap's still making life difficult on himself by dribbling so directly at J-Bot. He's still got the power, though. He finds a way through. 
even though this did look a bit awkward. Yeah, G-Bot just in the wrong position. The second that shot comes in, G-Bot wants to be lined up with his own near post so that if it is a near post shot, he can just stop, jump up in the air on the spot. Um, and if it's a far post shot, he's got the momentum to dive across and save it. But he was just a bit too far back there, protecting the back wall more than the goal. Not where you want to be from, or not where you want to be in those positions. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a reset bump. Alpha kept taking physical play to a whole other level. Check that out. He has to reset and he just uses it to flip into J-Bot. That's going to be the prettiest bump play I've ever seen. No way did J-Bot see that coming. Just no way. I don't think I've seen that before. At least not intentionally. I've seen plenty of those, you know, missed reset uh, flicks where the player just accidentally lands on top of the goalkeeper, but that was premeditated. You could see Alpha Kepi just got underneath the ball in a position that would never be followed up with a flick. Like, when you land a reset completely underneath the ball like that, you can't flick it. The ball's behind you. What you can do, though, is bump your opponent. Oh, dear, though. Alpha Kepi's just double jump past the ball. Now, this could be a controller issue. It could also just be a mechanical failure. Either way, j -Bot saw it coming. You don't need Gengar's settings to spot that one. And he's right back into the tight game. Let's see if Alpha Kep gets his revenge. No, he won't. Wouldn't really be revenge so much as, um, I guess, the, the remedy of the situation. Why do I have MPH instead of KPH? Um, I think I changed it to MPH because I was casting NARLCS once, and they always have MPH on it. I wanted to have my settings be the same as the um, actual RLCS broadcast that if I said anything about the speed of a shot, I wouldn't be saying kilometers per hour while the stream can see miles per hour. And then I forgot to change it back. So yeah, we're still in MPH. We are in an NA tournament right now though, so I suppose it makes sense. I suppose we could leave it on for now. Did I forget to re-enable chat? No, I, I did re-enable it. It's just these guys aren't talking on stop. <laughs> when Chronic's not in the lobby, the players don't usually have as many words per minute. Did I really? No, I think I re-enabled it. Yeah, I did. See, told you. It's on. It's been an interesting series so far. J-Bot just getting the edge towards the end of the game. He's trying to back up Alpha Kep into the net here so he can waste the rest of the time off the clock on a boost-starved opponent. That'll do it. J-Bot fakes the air dribble. Back down he comes. Nice interception, though. Alpha Kep has an open net here. Is he going to find it? No, he's not. Now, when I say it was an open net, it was really only an open top right corner. The rest of the net um, was still quite defended there. <laughs> you have no idea how fast these shots are when they're in uh, miles per hour. I'll try and remember to change it to kilometers per hour for tomorrow's stream. Just to remind me, guys, we're doing Europe tomorrow. We're doing the Europe group. I'll try and remember to change it to kilometers per hour for EU. Um, are all the games on my YouTube? I've got to find that out, actually. I'm not 100% sure um, if I'm going to be uploading these. I'm going to ask Gold Rush what the plans are with the VODs. Yeah, game one. Not that surprising. Um... J-Bot's a bit of a streaky player. I mean, we saw that in the first color series. He wins two games in a row. Then he, you know, kind of fell off, but also just kind of didn't have the uh, the, the ability to stop first killer once first killer got rolling. Nice pinch clear there by J-Bot. That's huge. 65 is fast. 80 is really fast. Yeah, I mean, well, when you think about it, I mean, 40 miles an hour is really fast. Good save by J-Bot there. Just depends what's what's moving. I mean, if a human is going 30 miles an hour, that's pretty fast, you know? <laughs> if a car is going 30 miles an hour, not not as fast. Uh, Rock League car, maybe even less so. Good demo. Alpha Cap doesn't even need, need another touch here. It's just already in. Um, and yes, this is gold mine, indeed. Thank you, by the way, to Booyah Radley for the brand new Prime. I appreciate that. There's been tons of support in the stream today, even though I've got my alerts noises turned off. Really appreciate that uh, from you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the Goldmine content. We've got more tomorrow. We've got EU tomorrow. Um, I'm casting the 
other type of group of death, not the one where the insane, all the most insane players are in it, but maybe the, the closest looking group, the one that's hardest to predict, the group of hard predictions. We've got Astral, Fairy Peak, Scrub Killer, and of course Ahmad from KSA. Good recovery here by Alpha Cap. He's up two, two goals in game two. Did I see AJ's clip of him quadruple flip resetting on Mile in 1v1 ranks? <laughs> no, I did not. I've been streaming Group A games, so I've not had a chance to watch any... Um, not had a chance to watch any clips from the other streams um, that have been streaming goldmine content, players or casters. Athena watches every replay. You guys gotta bear in mind that although I've casted thousands and thousands of 1v1s, I don't think anyone else in the world has casted thousands and thousands of 1v1s. Everybody else is just casting 3v3. All the other Rocket League casters are just casting 3v3. 3v3 is the main game mode. No one else is dumb enough to cast thousands of 1v1s far from me. So, although, yeah, although I, I know that some goals are just worth skipping to keep the game flowing, it's not usually the done thing in 3v3. Most of the time when you're, when you're casting 3v3, you just let every replay run. Because um, 3v3 doesn't have that many goals. So it's good to play them all in replay, but 1v1 you could have a 20 goal game, so you don't want to show the replay for all those goals. Game's going to take half an hour. Oh dear. Alpha Cap has started off both these games pretty well, and then he's just fallen off. I don't know if this is going to be a running theme for him, but if it is, I don't see him uh, taking this to the game 5 that I was hoping for. <laughs> oh, nicely done here. I was wondering if he was just going to let the car slide in on his side here. Could he have done that? Could he have just done done a, a little celebration ego? <laughs> I don't think he could. It looked like the car was falling back onto his wheels. Hey, thank you Pockets Hoot for the brand new tier 1. Really appreciate that. Welcome back to the channel. Good pre-flip save there by Alpha Cap after the kickoff. Um, yeah, Khaled is playing in the tournament. He's going to be... I think his group is casted by Shogun. Oh, and the open net miss of the day award goes to Jbot. <laughs> what a miss. <laughs> he had all the time in the world. Alpha Cap was demoed. No rush. <laughs> and he's hit the post. Oh, dear. That was the Johnny Boy impression of the day, perhaps. If I wanted to see that, I would have just gone into free play, mate. The Jbot's uh, undeterred. Onwards he goes. <laughs> He's got Alpha Kef on his side again. That's the second time this game. So this time j -Bot's more likely to score off it. Alpha Kef's boost management is calm in the position. Stays with it. Why is Beast Mode in this? I don't know if Beast Mode plays. Does Beast Mode play 1v1? I've never seen Beast Mode play 1v1. Maybe he does. Good counter attack though by J-Bot. Deflects the ball into the sidewall. Recovers nicely. And this time... Hits a more difficult open net. He does play 1v1. Um, well, I don't think... Maybe he's just a latecomer to competitive 1v1, but I've never seen uh, Beast Mode play once, so he's never done show matches. He's never played in any of the 1v1 tournaments that I've ran or the ones that I've seen. So, maybe one for the future. Um, Khaled plays tomorrow. Um, if you're wondering about time, I believe that the EU groups go live at 7 p.m. Central European time tomorrow. Do double check that though on the Gold Rush Twitter. Is anybody able to check that for me in fact? I don't want to be telling somebody the wrong time. Great vision by Jbot. Now can he do the impossible and score the open net? Yes he can. This time he decides not to smack the ball into the post from half a yard out. Look at that by Jbot. We have to watch this replay again. Patience. Let's the ball do the work for him. Well played, J-Bot. Extremely similar to the last game that we saw. Alpha Cap led for the majority off it. J-Bot comes out into the final minute with a goal lead. Oh, perfect placement by Alpha Cap though. J-Bot had to just hope that that was hitting the bar and going out because there's no way that he was saving it. Beautiful setup. Alpha Cap the wave dash just to um, close the gap to the ball a little bit. Now that's interesting because usually people consider a wave dash to be the same as a flip because both a flip and a wave dash generate the same speed forwards. The difference is though, after you land a wave dash, you don't have to continue driving forwards. You can actually just hit the brakes a little bit, slow down. So it's kind of like a half, um, well, I'm going to say a half 
flip, but it's not it's not a half flip in a Rocket League sense, but it propels you forward half the distance at a full flip would, where you flipped um, and then gone a full rotation, landed too far forward to make your shot. With a wave dash, you can get that speed boost and then slow it down just a touch, a bit more variable, a bit more controllable, get into the perfect spot like Alpha Cat did for that shot. And it's not a... Uh, turned out to be a good few final few seconds for him though. Unless he can make something special happen, it's going to be the exact same outcome as game number one, and there it is, Jbot just runs into him a couple of times, and frustrating as it is, Alphakep loses game two as well. Not going very well for him here. Um, Jbot proving to be quite the clutch player though at the moment. Um, I84Pi, is it I84Pi? Thanks for the prime sub, if that's how I say your name. Welcome to the stream, buddy. This is game three. This is a best of five. This is the last chance, potentially, for Alpha Kep in the gold mine. Now, Alpha Kep going into this tournament might have considered himself to be one of the top maybe 12 players, top 10 players in the list of players who were invited. But he ended up in the group of death, and he might be the first eliminated from it. j -Bot looks pretty good, guys. Gotta say, if Chronic takes any of the tilt that he picked up from the first killer series into a match against J-Bot, he might be taking an L earlier in the tournament than we expected from him. If Khaled doesn't win one of these two upcoming 1v1 tournaments, he's no longer top two. Well, I don't think that statement in and of itself can be true. Um, let's say Joyas and Fairy Peak both got round one um, in their groups. Let's say that they both got eliminated from their groups immediately and somebody completely new beats Khaled in the final. Uh, let's say Khaled gets second again. Um, and Jory's and Kid, uh, Jory isn't, did I say Kid? Jory's and Fairy just lose immediately. And I think we could all agree that based on the last three tournaments, Fusion, Salt Mine 2, and Gold Mine, uh, Khaled would have to be on top. Because taking second, second, second is better than, you know, someone who took first and then got nothing in the other two tournaments. At least that, that's in my opinion. Obviously, winning is a big deal. But if somebody's consistently getting second while all the rest of the competition are either getting first or round one, yeah, I would take the guy who's getting second every time, personally. Hey, Dova, thanks for the tier three and the 18 months. Really appreciate that. Sorry I've not been able to zone the ball with tier threes as I want to be. Been extremely busy with uh, Salt Mine Underground and now Gold Mine as well. So. Same script as we had in game one. Same script as we had in game two. Um, Alpha Kep takes control. And it's usually maybe a minute from now, if we look back at the last two games, that J-Bot picks up a free free goal, just like a, a goal that he doesn't really have to work too hard for. And then shortly afterwards, Alpha Kep will just give him another one by missing a demo or taking far too long to recover. And there's, you know, kind of the first step. Now, yeah, J-Bot kind of had to work for it. He got the boost seal, positioned himself very well. It is a cracking finish. Love the placement there. But let's see now how Alpha Gap's going to respond. Do a Shogun impression. This is Rocket League. There we go. Done. Oh, man. This is actually just the same two games all over again. This must be devastating for Alpha Gap. Spot on, thank you. I do cast a Shogun all the time, so I can pull that impression out any any time. It will always have the same quality. Now this, you know, the match up here, J-Bot Alpha Kep, it is closer than a sweep, um, definitely. Just like the Chronic First Killer one was. Chronic First Killer, couple of close games. I think a 4-1 would have been more, would have made more sense. 4-1 or 4-2, maybe probably 4-1 would have made more sense, because as soon as First Killer, sunk his teeth into the series, it was over. Um, oh wow, Alpha Kep's won the kickoff so hard that he's missed it. Didn't even bounce in off the wall, and G-Bot's gonna get a runaway possession into a reset on the ceiling. Look at Alpha Kep, J-Bot uses it as a fake, and now he's just air double dunking him. Oh my goodness, the mind games by J-Bot. <laughs> you can just tell it, Alpha Kep knows that J-Bot is so capable off the ceiling and he's so capable with his air dribbles that he's afraid of resets, he's afraid of fast shots, he's afraid of all kind of all kinds of fancy plays. And meanwhile J Bot's just letting the ball bounce into the goal. He's just jumping along behind it. Kickoff goal for Alpha Kep though. So just over two minutes in. Still leads. 
do call in Stumpy. Um, I don't really know what their catchphrase is, so I can't really do a quick call in Stumpy like I can a quick Shogun one. Kep is winning every kickoff. Well, he's won a, yeah, he's won a few. Hasn't won them all, but he has won a few of them. I mean, J-Bot, if he didn't miss this, could have been fine in the position. You know, it's a kickoff goal, but it looked like it was one that J-Bot could have in, uh, interfered with. Great vision by Kep. He saw J-Bot coming. This is probably the position where ball chasing occurs the most often in 1v1. Right after the kickoff, one player is closer to the ball than the other, and he wants to get the 100 boost and then turn around, so the other player just makes up for the fact that he has no boost by charging the ball before the other player can turn, but Alpha Kep knows that that's a really popular play. He knows to keep his eye on J-Bot. <laughs> J-Bot throwing a little turtle in there, because why not? It might only slow him down slightly. So, alright, if Alpha Kep can't win this game, then it's safe to say J-Bot is just too clutch today. So he's got the three goal lead now. J-Bot, hook shot, top corner. And that's why you want to bring some angle on your dribbles, guys. Look how much harder this is to save than a dribble that's straight at the goalkeeper. So many angles to cover. That shot could literally be going anywhere. It could be going top right, top left. It could be a mind game. It could be a soft first touch into a volley off the top of the bounce. So many different ways that, that shot can pan out compared to um, a direct dribble into a flick or um, an air dribble bump, which is what um, large parts of Alpha Kep's uncontested offense looks like. Oh, what a save! You know, Alpha Kep's such a strong player positionally, and he's so sneaky with his demos and his physical play. He's going to go for another one here. He's got the bump. Oh, I think that's going to work as well. <laughs> Alpha Kep 8-5. I'm just talking about this. You know, he, he's so good at knowing when he can make a physical play in his opponent. That if he can just... I think if he mixes up his approach with his dribbling just a little bit, if he mixes up the offense a bit more, he's going to be so much more dangerous. He, he, he's going to have a much easier time scoring goals in his opponent. Because when it comes to timing, when it comes to just reading his opponent, when it comes to vision, Alpha Kep's definitely up there. I mean, look at how many times he demoed Chronic, even though Chronic knew that Alpha Kep was going for demos whenever he could. Chronic already knew that, that was a play that was going to be happening, and he still couldn't avoid them. He'll chase you all the way up into the ceiling if he has to. And he's got some mechanical plays as well. Don't think that Kep doesn't have the mechanical plays. I mean, we saw a reset bump from him earlier in the series. But he needs to be careful here. Most important thing right now for Alpha Kep is to hang on. J-Bot is going to come flying at him. and <laughs> He's not able to hang on to the three goal lead for very long. J-Bot, demo, turn around goal into the open top left corner. Not much you can do there on the respawn from Alpha Kep's POV. Rhino Junkyard, thanks to the brand new Prime. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're enjoying the gold mine NA Group A today and all the other groups as well. Hope you guys have had a chance to tune in to Shogun, uh, Smellsworth, and Athena's streams as well as mine. Really smart play there by Kep. So he missed his flick, but no panic. Just takes the ball into the back corner where he can restock on the 100 boost and let the clock win the game for him. Now on the runaway, he's not going to get away though. J-Bot using a bit of Kep's momentum against him. Actually, is he going for another bump here? It's a flick and it's saved. I was really expecting an irritable bump there from uh, J-Bot. He just double up on it, try to tilt uh, Kep at the end of the game here. Kep's hanging on though. This is good defense. No boost steal for J-Bot on the exit. That means it's there for Kep. And I think that that is going to be game. J-Bot knows time is running out. He just snatched it a shot, hoping that he could get it in somehow. Not going to be an Alpha Kep, just like in the Chronic series, starts the comeback. Where are the other streams, uh, the other groups being streamed? Just use exclamation mark multi in the chat. You'll be able to see the multi stream, which links to all the other streams for uh, Goldmine NA. Yeah, if somebody, if, if one person posts the uh, link, then nobody else has to post it. It just pops up for everybody. Appreciate what you're doing for the community. You're an absolute mad lad, Johnny. I appreciate that, dude. Um, can you do multi on phone? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, if you're using the mobile app, I'd, then multi-twitch won't work on, on mobile. 
Because multi Twitch isn't uh, the Twitch app; it's a different site entirely. Johnny Weiss the resident sleeper today. Well, it's currently midnight EU, so I'll be just a bit quieter than I was earlier for this series and the next one. Don't think it's because I'm falling asleep or any more or any less hype um, to be cast in these games. Now that first killer is already qualified, that is not the case. Um, but yeah, it's midnight EU, and I don't want to wake up the neighbors. You know, 1 a.m. France. True, true. Don't want to wake up the neighbors with yelling. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take it easy. When it comes to the weekend for. Um, NA Finals. I mean, that's a Saturday night, so no big deal. But this is a work night, midnight, so I'll make sure not to be yelling at the top of my voice, you know? ASMR stream. Is this what you guys call it? Is this ASMR to you guys? Love that from JBot. Alpha Cap is so ready to sweep across, go for the boost seal, maybe another demo. And uh, JBot just keeps it in the corner instead. And now he's got the boost advantage, and Alpha Cap's consistency with saving these air dribbles has been really low today. He gets this one. But I like the shot selection by J-Dot. By J-Dot? By J-Bot. Mixing up uh, J-Bot and K-Dot here. That's been one of his best um, options today. Just those slow air dribbles. Caps really struggle to read them. And then, of course, switching it up to go over him every now and again as well. Not a terrible idea. Yeah, you can't stop the, the J-Dot. Superb commentary gives you tingles. I'm glad, dude. That's an ASMR commentary. That's what it does, right? It gives people tingles. I've. Uh, do we have anyone in chat who actually that ASMR works on? Isn't it something that only some people um, get? It's like I don't know, some nerves thing related to hearing soft sounds. I don't really know. I. I, I mean, it doesn't work for me, so I haven't really looked into it at all. Rated RDSIV, thanks to the 9 month prime, welcome back, and XL, thanks to the 7 month prime as well, appreciate you guys. All the best from late night Germany, all the best from late night UK, dude. It worked for you, but only sculpture of soap. Only sculpture of soap. So, that's a very, very specific part of the ASMR industry, the soap sculpture ASMR. Didn't even know that was a thing. Like, oh, for goodness sake, there's no soap sculptures. How am I, I going to get my ASMR in of the day? Ran out of soap sculptures. Um, is Gengar playing right now? I don't think so. Let me just double check. We've got, obviously, J-Bot versus Alpha Cap here. Oh, we do have Gengar versus Farky right now. Live in... Group B. Now, I think Group B is being streamed by... Who, who's streaming Group B, actually? I've forgotten. Um, group C, we've got Lion Blaze versus Wonder Mike. After Com made it in, first seed from Group um, Group C. That's pretty crazy. Oh, what a save by Alpha Cap. It's still going to be a goal on the rebound from, from J-Bob, but... Nice save, nonetheless. Magic Bear Sharif is about to start. Shogun, okay, so Shogun is streaming the Farky Gengar series. Golf commentary, please. Lovely drive there by J-Bot. Now he sets up in the green, straight down the middle of the fairway. Unfortunately, gets a bit stuck in the sand pit there, but Alpha Cap's going to be the next up. I don't know why the English accent comes out whenever I try and do golf commentary, but it does. It's just the only accent that makes sense to me in golf commentary. Although, I, I think um, there's got to be some Scottish golf commentators as well. But in my head, the golf commentator in my head has an English accent. It's just how it is. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think kept just own gold with a pull shot. Uh, it's a well played by j uh, but I almost called him J-Dop again, but J-Bot. Yep, he did. It looked like J-Bot was missing, but Kep can't know that. That's the difficulty. That's the difficult thing in the position, is that J-Bot can't, or rather, Kep can't know that J-Bot is missing when he's coming in for that save. He thinks that J-Bot is hitting the shot on target, so he bumps him to try and force the miss by changing the angle of the shot, but funnily enough, I think J-Bot was missing, and... Kep's bump puts it on target, so 
really unfortunate there. He was making what he thought was the best play in the position. And unfortunately, he hasn't had the best follow-up either. J-Bot easily sweeps up the following attack, which again from Kep was straight forward, straight at him. He doesn't give himself many angles to work with, does he? Alpha Kep is very direct. And uh, J-Bot reads every single one of these. J-Bot quite happy to play this uh, game. He knows that Kep was pretty low in boost there. Oh, he's got bumped out of position though. Kep with a nice uh, pick up there. <laughs> a quick little double, bu uh, double bump by Alpha Kep. Turns around quickly in the mid boost. Should make bean rewards for different types of commentary. I think that is a terrible idea. <laughs> I think that would, be a, that would be a really poor decision by me. Okay, Kep's giving himself a little bit of an angle to work with here. I like that. And, oh! The air dribble's too high. Landed the bump on J-Bot. Didn't matter. Crossbar had him covered. Final minute. Potentially off Kep's tournament life. He's in trouble here. And he's in even more trouble now. J-Bot makes it a three-goal game again. Unfortunately for Alpha Kep, He's just been beaten to the punch a few times there. J-Bot steals the boost, beats him to the ball, and slots it in past him. Yeah, overall, same story for Alpha Kep as we had against Chronic. I think he just limits himself with his offensive options. He's very good at the options he does give himself, those being namely um, air dribble bumps and flicks. But if you're relying on air dribble bumps and flicks only in 1v1, then it's a bit easier for the uh, for the opponent to work against you because they know what you're going for. They can just rush challenges because they know that you're trying to go for later setups in the plays. Um, they can shadow a lot as well because flick, uh, shadowing is pretty good against flicking. Um, the flick has to be perfect to get past it and obviously if you are shadowing, you have the you have a chance at saving air dribble bumps. It depends on the player. Some are very good at saving them shadowing positions, others not so much. But yeah, Alpha Cap first to be eliminated from the group of death by the looks of things. Just no time left to get the necessary three goals, but I guess technically he does have the time, but now he doesn't. And J-Bot will finish him off in four games. Good games though. Good luck says Alpha Cap as well. Great sportsmanship, as expected. Really nice guy. Be sure to check him out on his own live stream. He plays a bunch. Um, of ones in his live stream, if I'm not mistaken, as well. But ooh, that's juicy. So we get the unique matchup for the lower finals. We've not yet seen J-Bot versus Chronic. Uh, that will mean that Chronic and J-Bot will both have played everyone in the group. They've both lost to First Killer. They've both beaten Alpha Cap, and now they're both going to play against each other to see who will take the second spot in the group. First Killer is already qualified as a top seed. Um, can you do multi on phone? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, if you're using the mobile app, I, then multi Twitch won't work on, on mobile. Because multi Twitch isn't uh, the Twitch app, it's a different site entirely. Johnny White's a resident sleeper today. Well, it's currently midnight EU, so I'll be just a bit quieter than I was earlier for this series and the next one. Don't think it's because I'm falling asleep or any more or any less hype. Um, to be cast in these games now that first killer is already qualified that is not the case um but yeah it's midnight EU and I don't want to wake up the neighbors you know 1am France true true don't want to wake up the neighbors with yelling so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take it easy when it comes to the weekend for um NA finals I mean that's a Saturday night so no big deal but this is a work night midnight so I'll make sure not to be yelling at the top of my voice you know ASMR stream. Is this what you guys call it? Is this ASMR to you guys? Love that from J-Bot. Alpha Cap is so ready to sweep across, go for the boost seal, maybe another demo. And uh, J-Bot just keeps it in the corner instead. And now he's got the boost advantage. And Alpha Cap's consistency with saving these air dribbles has been really low today. He gets this one. But I like the shot selection by J-Dot. Uh, by J-Dot? By J-Bot. Mixing up uh, J-Bot and K-Dot here. That's been one of his best... Um, options today. Just those slow air dribbles 
Caps really struggle to read them. And then, of course, switching it up to go over him every now and again as well. Not a terrible idea. Yeah, you can't stop the, the Jade up. The superb commentary gives you tingles. I'm glad, dude. That's an ASMR commentary. That's what it does, right? It gives people tingles. I've, uh, do we have anyone in chat who actually that ASMR works on? Isn't it something that only some people um, get? It's like, I don't know, some nerves thing related to hearing soft sounds. I don't really know. I, 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 I mean, it doesn't work for me, so I haven't really looked into it at all. Rated RDSIV, thanks to the 9 month prime, welcome back, and XL, thanks to the 7 month prime as well, appreciate you guys. All the best from late night Germany, all the best from late night UK, dude. It worked for you, but only sculpture of soap. Only sculpture of soap. So, that's a very, very specific part of the ASMR industry, the soap sculpture ASMR. Didn't even know that was a thing. Like, oh, for goodness sake, there's no soap sculptures. How am I, I going to get my ASMR in of the day? Ran out of soap sculptures. Um, is Gengar playing right now? I don't think so. Let me just double check. We've got, obviously, J-Bot versus Alpha Cap here. Oh, we do have Gengar versus Farky right now. Live in... Group B. Uh, I think Group B is being streamed by... Who, who's streaming Group B, actually? I've forgotten. Um, group C, we've got Lion Blaze versus Wonder Mike. After Com made it in first seed from Group um, Group C. That's pretty crazy. Oh, what a save by Alpha Cap. It's still going to be a goal on the rebound from, from J-Bob, but... Nice save, nonetheless. Magic Bear Sharif is about to start. Shogun, okay, so Shogun is streaming the Farky Gengar series. Golf commentary, please. Lovely drive there by J-Bot. Now he sets up on the green, straight down the middle of the fairway. Unfortunately, gets a bit stuck in the sand pit there, but Alpha Cap's going to be the next up. I don't know why the English accent comes out whenever I try and do golf commentary, but it does. It's just the only accent that makes sense to me in golf commentary. Although, I, I think um, there's got to be some Scottish golf commentators as well. But in my head, the golf commentator in my head has an English accent. It's just how it is. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think kept a stone gold with a pull shot. Uh, it's well played by Jada, uh, but I almost called him Jada up again, but J-Bot. Yep, he did. It looked like J-Bot was missing, but Kep can't know that. That's the difficulty. That's the difficult thing in the position, is that J-Bot can't, or rather, Kep can't know that J-Bot is missing when he's coming in for that save. He thinks that J-Bot is hitting the shot on target, so he bumps him to try and force the miss by changing the angle of the shot, but funnily enough, I think J-Bot was missing, and... Kep's bump puts it on target, so really unfortunate there. He was making what he thought was the best play in the position, and unfortunately, he hasn't had the best follow-up either. J-Bot easily sweeps up the following attack, which again from Kep was straight forward, straight at him. He doesn't give himself many angles to work with, does he? Alpha Kep is very direct. And uh, J-Bot reads every single one of these J-Bot quite happy to play this uh, game. He knows that Kep was pretty low in boost there. Oh, he's got bumped out of position though. Kep with a nice uh, pick up there. <laughs> a quick little double, bu uh, double bump by Alpha Kep. Turns around quickly on the mid boost. Should make bean rewards for different types of commentary. I think that is a terrible idea. <laughs> I think that would, be a, that would be a really poor decision by me. Okay, Kep's giving himself a little bit of an angle to work with here. I like that. And, oh! The air dribble's too high. Landed the bump on J-Bot. Didn't matter. Crossbar had him covered. Final minute, potentially, off Kep's tournament life. He's in trouble here, and he's in even more trouble now. J-Bot makes it a three-goal game again. 
Unfortunately for Alpha Cap, he's just been beaten to the punch a few times there. J-Bot steals the boost, beats him to the ball, and slots it in past him. Yeah, overall, same story for Alpha Cap as we had against Chronic. I think he just limits himself with his offensive options. He's very good at the options he does give himself, those being namely um, air dribble bumps and flicks. But if you're relying on air dribble bumps and flicks only in 1v1, then it's a bit easier for the uh, for the opponent to work against you because they know what you're going for. They can just rush challenges because they know that you're trying to go for later setups in the plays. Um, they can shadow a lot as well because flick, uh, shadowing is pretty good against flicking. Um, the flick has to be perfect to get past it and obviously if you are shadowing you have the you have a chance at saving air dribble bumps. It depends on the player. Some are very good at saving them shadowing positions, others not so much. But yeah, Alpha kept first to be eliminated from the group of death by the looks of things. Just no time left to get the necessary three goals. Well, I guess technically he does have the time, but now he doesn't. And J-Bot will finish him off in four games. Good games though. Good luck says Alpha Cap as well. Great sportsmanship as expected. Really nice guy. Be sure to check him out on his own live stream. He plays a bunch. Um, of ones in his live stream, if I'm not mistaken, as well.